Well, it was an event that most of us remember where we were. It was three years ago today that the state was jolted by the threat of an incoming ballistic missile, only to find out later that it was a false alarm. So what's being done to make sure this doesn't happen again? And what's being done to protect Hawaii from an actual missile threat? Sam Spangler got answers in a story new tonight at 10. The FCC determined that the high EMA worker who triggered the panic actually believed Hawaii was under attack. Now, about an hour after that happened, former Civil Defense Vice Director Ed Teixeira says he got a call from a local prominent politician asking him what to do to fix it. Teixeira says since then, his recommendations have been implemented. Today, Haima told KHON2 that in order to prevent a false alarm from happening again, procedures have been changed. When activating alerts, instituting a two-person activation and verification system for all testing exercises for all hazard scenarios. A pre-scripted correction statement can also be triggered within seconds of an error should the need arise. A pre-scripted message that, uh, that may correct something that has gone all right or wrong is the way to go. I mean, that's a no-brainer. The second change came from Teixeira's phone call the day of the false alert. I was called within the first hour of that incident by a very, very notable politician asking me what I had thought. Uh, that person had talked to the governor and to the person in charge, wasn't feeling very comfortable and asked for my opinion. Teixeira's first reaction was that the system should not be controlled by a single individual. If you're going to have an exercise of this, this type or even a procedure of this type calling for uh, an immediate response from the public, then you need to have at least a two-person rule. Meaning, it's not just one person sitting behind a computer screen and a touch screen at that. Tensions between the U.S. and North Korea seem to have calmed since then, but the U.S. military is staying prepared. In November, the USS John Finn successfully shooting down a test version of an intercontinental ballistic missile northeast of Hawaii as part of a defense of Hawaii scenario mandated by Congress. Hats off to the um, MDA, the uh, Missile Defense Agency, for just sticking to their objectives and goals and delivering the systems like that with the test in the Pacific to show that, you know, we have the systems available to defend Hawaii. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.